What's up? I'm Dulex and today I'm going to take you with me as I transform my RV shower from this to this. Let's get to work. So here we are yet again for another bathroom video. I promise this is the last one. Let me just show you guys what this shower looks like before I get started tearing it apart. So now that I got this taken apart and I can see how it's all constructed, I know what I need to do. So there was a lot of moisture that was getting inside behind these walls and they started peeling off. And they also only had this tiny little strip of double-sided tape holding that on. It stopped here. So that was allowing moisture to get in from the top and from the sides as well. So. I'm going to go ahead and remake these walls myself, build a center column here to house the faucet, and then I'm going to have corrugated metal on both of these walls that's going to go all the way up to the ceiling to make sure there's no moisture leaking because I don't want to have mold inside the walls and have to take apart the shower again, and that's how they had it set up, so let's get to work on that. For the center column, I'm choosing to use cedar for its strength and water resistance.
So it's been a few days because I needed to let this polyurethane dry completely before I moved on to the next step. But now that it's dry, I'm ready to move on to setting up the shower faucet itself. So the shower faucet has a three quarter inch fitting on it, but the original plumbing in the RV actually has a half inch fitting on it. So what I had to do was set up my own plumbing here. I have my three quarter inch fitting coming through here. And then I attach to that a reducer that reduces it to a half inch. Then I put on a half inch nipple, I think this is called. And then what this is gonna do is attached straight onto the original plumbing that's set up here. So if I did all that right, hopefully we won't get any leaks, but we'll see what happens. About to turn this on, see if it works. See how wet this gets in here. Okay. Is there any leakage? Does this work? thing the shower is pretty much done so what I decided to do now was just to kind of finish it off and I'm taking some paper right now and I'm trying to make a template for the bottom of the shower bottom doesn't really look as good as the rest of it now that I've done everything else so I'm taking this paper and I'm cutting it around the shape of the shower so I can make a template and I'm gonna go ahead and make some sort of a wood bottom for this just to make it look a little bit more advanced so we'll see how this looks
it be funny if I did all this shit and it didn't even fit? I decided to use cedar throughout the entire thing, not just the backboard, just for its extra durability. A lot of people use cedar for outdoor furniture because it is a more durable type of wood. And I decided to coat everything in between three to five coats of polyurethane, except for the bottom because that's going to be more submerged in water the more you shower. So I decided to actually coat that with epoxy. So we're going to see how well that holds up, but I did make it removable. So in case it does end up taking too much water damage, I can just easily replace it. But I just went ahead and used polyurethane on the walls because they're not going to be as saturated with water. Then on the top, I just used some black steel pipe to just go around in this very specific shape. So I just want to thank you guys for watching this video all the way to the end. I had a ton of fun making this shower come to life and I hope you enjoyed watching me do it. Next week, I'm going to finally move on to the living room area and get out of this bathroom. So. Hope you're excited for that as much as I am. I'll see you guys there later. Never at ease, I don't know a limit. Chasing a dream, I don't know what sleep is. I got a queen, she lit me to eat it. She ripe like a peach and she snapped me to snip it. You well overdue for that link up in person. Text me to fall through a smurder, she wrote it. Still up with courage, you're doing a service. Pull up to the crib, I'm equipped with the brush strokes. Cut throat from the low, low, when no love goes. Women buddy, buddy, like it's been 